Welcome to the Word of Faith coming to you from BBC Northgate. The scriptures say, ask of me the nations and I'll give them to you. Also say that the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to other people groups and then the end will come. We are part of that mission force. So we read scripture together and we meditate and pray. The scripture is Mark chapter 16 from verse 15. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they'll drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they'll pick up snakes with their hands, they will drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They'll place their hands on sick people and they will get well. We want to talk about the power of a believer. You see... To be effective in ministry, you need the power of God to operate in your lives. What happens when this power comes? Number one, you are able to drive out demons. Who are demons? These are spirits who are rebellious, spirits who lead people to sin. You can identify them in the spirit and speak against them, and they have to leave. You will drive them out. Number two, he says that... Uh, once you have heard the gospel, once you have believed, once you have come out to be part of the force going out, then you'll be able to speak in new languages. Maybe you don't know how to speak French, but you need to speak it in a certain situation. God will give you an enablement. There are some people who pray in the spirit. Because the Bible says in uh, Romans 8.26, we don't know how to pray, but the spirit intercedes for us. So you'll be able to speak in spirit language. God will be able to hear you articulately because he'll give you the gift of speaking. And then he says nothing will harm you. You see, we are living in an age when we are every shadow we see. We look behind to see if corona is accompanying. Every person you meet, so much suspicion, so much fear. I want to declare if you believe in the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you are part of obedience, going out to tell the truth, no harm will befall you. Psalms 91, a thousand may fall by your side and no harm will. We are not telling you to be careless. We are just telling you you have divine protection. Psalms 46 verse 1 is an ever-present help in every time of trouble. In fact, in this passage, he says you may even drink deadly poison without intending to drink poison, but it not harm you because God will come in and rescue you. And then he says also you'll have the ability to heal the sick. In James chapter 5, he says, pray over the sick, lay your hands on them, anoint them with oil, and the sick person will get well. And if they have sinned, they will be forgiven. That power is given to the believers. And finally, he says, after you have delivered the message, after signs and wonders have followed you, you will inherit the kingdom. In Luke chapter 12, verse 32, he says, our father's pleasure that you inherit the kingdom. There is a lot that you are missing out if you are not a believer who is active in the local church, reaching the kingdoms, reaching the nations, advancing the kingdom of God. For us here at PBC Northgate, we have mandate over the North Quadrant. Pray, speak to someone, reach out so that you get this power. It is never energized unless you need to use it. So may you step out and touch lives because Every believer has been marked for destiny and is their time to be strengthened to become effective in ministry. Come out and serve this our God. There is benefit in being part of this kingdom. Why don't we pray? Father, we thank you. This passage in Mark 16 is a very powerful passage. You say that signs and wonders will follow the ones who believe and are active in ministry. And in other passages of scripture, you say we will become sought after because signs and wonders are following. Signs and wonders are to confound the unbelievers. is to show people that God is above natural systems. God will provide for you supernaturally. God will heal you supernaturally. God will lift you up supernaturally from down to where you should be so that the name of the Lord may be lifted up and that through you God may draw many men and women. The Bible says, my house will be called the house of prayer for all nations. And then he says that beautiful are the feet of the ones who bring good tidings. 
and declare in Zion, our Redeemer reigns. I want to say, our Redeemer reigns. Inch by inch, yard by yard, we are advancing against enemy territory, driving out demons. This is our mandate, and we exercise this in this 21st century to the glory of God, and we pray this, believe you are trusting in Jesus' name. God bless you for tuning in, and uh, really, really, really be blessed.